What's going on everybody? Welcome back. So in this video we're going to give you a look at the Active Trader window in Thinkorswim. Uh, so whether you're new to Thinkorswim or just maybe new to the markets in general, uh, this is a great tool to be able to go into the trading platform and be able to kind of execute your orders, buys and sells uh, with just a click of a button. So we'll go through the Active Trader window and show you kind of what, what, what all options are available, kind of what all it shows you and show you how to customize it a little bit to fit your own preferences. Um, so for me, I actually am a day trader, so I would use Active Trader Window to be able to get in and out of positions, which is a one click of the button. Um, whereas some people maybe are just kind of like buy and hold traders, they just use like the TD Ameritrade website to do their orders, and that's fine. But I think using this, even, even if that's your style, this would be a much better method for you to use because it shows you kind of everything all at once, not only for order execution, but also open positions as well. You know, it kind of, kind of removes a step and puts everything right in front of you showing you kind of how many shares you have open, how many total shares you've maybe traded for the day or whatever, and kind of showing your total profit and loss. So I think this is something that's important for everyone, no matter what your style is, to kind of be able to use. Um, so we'll jump right into it here. So on the right here, to go to Active Trader window, you go to Active Trader here on the right. So that brings up this kind of default looking window. So we'll go through all the different buttons on here first. Uh, this is just default for now, but we'll get into the different things you can add and change on this. So you got just two kind of basic buttons here for buy at market, sell at market. And so this is really just as simple as it sounds. Um, if you, you want to buy, let's say, you know, 100 shares, you click buy market, sell 100 shares, sell market. There's a button here for cancel. Uh, this is actually to like cancel an order. I myself don't use this button, but you know, if that's your thing. Um, so this reverse position button, same thing here. I, I don't use this either. I think what this is supposed to do is basically if you're in like 100 shares on something, you can click reverse and it will then flip you to be short 100 shares, whatever, whatever you want. So then this flatten position button is actually one that I really like. So what this one does is basically it just closes any open position. It's just, you know, if you're in 1,000 shares, you're going to sell 1,000 shares. And so why is this important, right? Because, so you're, you're going to see with the Active Trader, in order to be able to get in and out of positions, you have to manually type in your share size and close them out. Whereas flatten position, if you just click that button, it automatically just closes you out of any positions. You can be in a weird share number of, you know, like 72 shares, and it'll just close you out. Um, so this basically saves me a step, just clicking flatten instead of actually manually typing in and, you know, closing a position. Um, so down here is basically, just, this is what I'm talking about with your open positions. It basically is going to give you a quick snapshot of, so your total days, buys, and sells. Um, this is just an example using Disney. I haven't traded this today, so this is showing zero by zero. But maybe if you've you know bought 20 shares or something, it'll show up here as you know zero by 20. Um, so if you're in position, so right now it says zero, but this actually if you were in a position, it would say like you know plus 100 shares long, or you know minus 100 shares short. So this is just kind of like a quick summary of your open position. This here is your average price. Um, so no matter what kind of trades you're in, whether it's a long term or a short term, this will give you your average price of your open position. So here is your current open profit and loss. So again, if you're in a position, an open position, this will tell you what your current profit loss is on that open position. And over here in the profit loss day, this is basically your total net kind of cumulative profit and loss for this particular ticker on this particular day. So, you know, let's say you traded Disney five times today. Um, maybe you're in a position now. So the current position would be here, but all five positions combined would be right here. And down here is basically your depth of market. So if you're familiar with the level two, so level two is showing you, you know, current current orders being trying try to get filled at the bid and current orders trying to get filled at the ask. Well, this here is basically going to show you the same type of thing. So the current market price is 178.49, okay, 178.47 now. And on the left here, you got the buy. So people are trying to buy down here at 178.45, 178.43, so on and so forth. And these here are the sells. So you can see people that are trying to sell way up here at 178.63, 178.50, so on and so forth. Um, so I myself do not use this here. I just basically use the level two down here for my order execution. But this is something, this is something you could use. Uh, you know, it gives you kind of a broad look here at you know current market price and showing kind of the orders on either side and kind of where buyers and sellers may be positioned. <clears throat> so now the next thing I want to draw attention to is this little arrow icon here on the left. So the show buttons area, you click on this, and now you've got the option to kind of enter a shared, a shared number to buy and sell. So they've kind of got these default buttons in here, you know, 100 shares, 300 shares, 500 shares, so on and so forth. Um, I, I don't use this, I just manually type mine in. Um, so you can go like this, so 50, 
hit tab. So 50 shares, hit tab, and now you can see there at the bottom, so you look down here, so buy 50 market, sell 50 market on the right side. So that's how that works. And so this auto send button here is really important. So I'm gonna show you how, how, how this works if auto send is not checked. So if I just wanna buy 50 shares at market right now, oops, now I'm gonna go all four to step, sorry guys. So I'll try to buy 50 shares at market. So you see we get this order confirmation dialog box here. So this basically is just an additional step to say, are you sure you really wanna buy 50 shares? And so for someone like me who, who is a day trader and wants to you know, get in and out of positions quickly, this here is just a nuisance. It's just an extra step, um, both in terms of opening and closing a position. So all you gotta do to avoid this is just click on auto send and then you will not you won't see that order confirmation dialog. And so now unfortunately I kinda wanna step ahead uh, in trying to show you that with this TIF button here. So if you go into the gear icon here on the right, this is configure buttons. This basically allows you to add and change what these kind of options here are that you use. Um, so this one here that I was gonna show you is TIF. So I added TIF in there. And so what TIF is is time and force. So if you've used the TD Ameritrade website to execute an order, you've probably seen at the bottom it says time and force and there's a few options there. So I'll walk through those really quickly to show you what they are. So time and force day is basically gonna be just during the trading day between 8.30 and three o'clock. So if your order is set today, it will only execute between those hours. So GTC is good to close. That basically means if you put in like a limit order or something, uh, it'll be good until the market closes. It'll, 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 it'll be active until the market closes. Uh, EXT is extended hours. So in theory for pre-market and after hours activity. Uh, and then GTC plus EXT here is gonna be, if you put in an order to buy something pre-market or after hours, this is the option you wanna use. So you have to use a limit order and you have to use GTC EXT. So that means good to close, plus extended after hours trading. So what this does is basically allows you to get in and out of positions after hours or pre-market. Um, so now uh, to piggyback off of that, we'll now show you how to put limit order buttons on here. So, so far all we have is just buy and sell, right? If you go up here to the gear icon again, so the ones I use are buy ask, buy bid, sell ask, and sell bid. So I add those in, click okay. So now you got these four options down here you can choose from. And so what this is basically gonna do is if you go into level two down here, you'll see the bid side and the ask side. So what this is gonna do is these two are, the are in theory gonna allow you to buy a position on the bid or buy a position on the ask or sell a position on the bid and sell a position on the ask. And so this kind of goes hand in hand with the time and force here, right? Because you have to do a limit order. So if you're doing GTC EXT and trying to buy a market, it's not gonna work. You have to do GTC EXT and you have to do one of the limit order. So, back in this thing again. So there's more options you can choose from in here. Um, there isn't really a ton more that's really too useful, I don't think anyway. So you can guys add some in here and show you kind of what, what they look like. I think we already have most of these anyway. But you can see we kind of get a bunch of extra stuff in here. It doesn't really do anything for you. You know, this, this position thing here just says none, order none. The, the really kind of the, the meat and potatoes of this whole thing is gonna be these buttons here across the top and then the limit order buttons and the time and force. Um, that's primarily what I, what I just use. I don't add in all the extra stuff because it's pretty much useless, I think. Um, so now I'll show you how you can kind of remove this stuff as well and then that'll be the end of our video here. So back in the configure buttons icon, so say you wanna remove cancel and reverse. So you can just click on cancel and reverse, do your remove items. You know, let's take off some other stuff too. Order template selector, position indicator, all these. Here are all these. Click OK. So now you just got buy market, sell market, flatten along the top. Get your limiter buttons down here, time and force, and your share positions right there. So hopefully that was helpful, guys. Um, this is pretty much the extent of Active Trader. I don't know much what, what much more I could really show here. Um, so if you like that video, go ahead and comment, give some feedback down below. Hit the like button, subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.